We, we have nothing if we don't have high quality data. Every place where we put a plot has things going on below ground and things going on above ground and they can vary across plots and regions. So how we bring that data together, tell that story and assemble it to part of the story for a particular product. We've developed technology to collect more data than ever before and uh, the, the challenge with that is being able to process and analyze that data to make some good real-time decisions. So, so when we think about data today, we think about how do we assemble it. And, and the, the visualization I always like to think of is the cake. A cake has various layers in it. And the, that, that situation goes the same for our data. There's a layer that sits below ground. Then there's a layer where the seed sits, and that seed has a certain environment to it. It can be a various moisture, it can be a various temperature. And then when you get above ground, there's all the weather inputs. There's topography, there's soil structure. And the reality is, it's not just one thing that drives yield. So what we're tasked with is how do we go out and really measure and understand all these layers? And the reason that's important, because our customers' fields also have layers. So our engineering team is really focused on driving better systems throughout our seed production uh, operations. And so what that means is really driving better automation as well as delivering sophisticated and flexible IT and data collection systems that are really trying to enable new science. Uh, artificial intelligence and analytics has helped us with that so that we make better, more accurate decisions. We can get more insights from that. And also it, it helps work in conjunction with our scientists to, to make sure that what we're seeing as the boots on the ground perspective matches up with some of the analytic models. Traditionally, data was always collected with a lot of people and a lot of training. And the result was a lot of interpretation of, of what individuals were looking at. So now we're able to utilize data from machinery, from imaging, from weather stations, utilizing that information so that we can make better decisions about how we advance products and how we end up getting the right things to the farmers at the right time. And then once it's in the commercial market, Barrel will continue to provide support in things like the climate application where they'll help make these recommendations with growers and they'll help make recommendations understanding the environmental risk that's, that's coming in front of them. But none of that's possible if we don't build our reference data in environments that are the same as our grower customers. We're able to take our data and our insights that we've learned throughout the R&D process and pass that information along to growers so that they get a full package of, again, not only products, but the data that goes along with managing those products for optimal yield performance. <music>